Hey everyone, so it was very requested that I show you a little bit of my school organization, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, specifically my bag, except for the only problem is I personally do not go to school. I take online classes. Um, I'm in college. I've actually already graduated from college, I have a degree, and I'm working on another degree. So I'm only part-time, it's just on the side, I work full-time, that sort of thing. It's nothing too crazy, it's not the main thing that I do with a lot of people who are in high school, that's your main thing you're focusing on is school. Um, so I don't go to the college unless I'm going for a test, like a proctored test, sometimes I have to go there. And then I don't really pack anything in my bag, I'm not allowed to use notes or anything, I just have to have my ID card. And that's really it. So I really cannot show you what I bring to the school in my bag. But I thought I could show you my desk area where I study and where I keep everything and how I organize it. So I'll show you that at the end. And I could show you a little bit about how I organize because I do have to keep organized with my assignments and my quizzes and when papers are due, when everything is due. I do keep organized um, about those sort of things. And I... I feel like I'm pretty organized about those things, but I guess we'll see. I'll just let you know and see what you think. So I'm just going to jump right in. First, I'm going to show you my planner. I just have a simple planner. I got this at Walmart. And it's really cute because in the front you can slip a picture in. And I have a picture of my husband and I on our wedding day. This is in front of an old, a really old, nice car. I don't know what kind of car it is. I'm not into cars, I'm into fashion and beauty and makeup, so <laughs> I couldn't tell you. I know it's a Ford, but so that's the picture I chose to put in there and then it's just got like, it shows you the month and then it also shows you um, like a breakdown of every day, which is what I really like. Last year or the year before that when I was finishing up college, I used one very similar to this and I've also been known to put sticky notes in here to write notes on. But in here I will write when everything is due. On the day that it's due, I'll put this is due. Like I'll put, I'm taking two classes right now. I'll put chemistry and I'll put what's due. And then if something else isn't due in my other class, I'll put nutrition and that's what's due. So it's very easy to flip ahead and like see the whole week laid out and what's going to be due that week. So that's one way that I organize and see what's due. I also have a calendar on my wall that I'll show you when I show you my room and I also write on there when anything is due. So there's two ways that I know that things are due and I have yet another, a third way to know that things are due so I really cannot, well hopefully I do not miss when something is due. What I do is I have a binder and I actually drew this really, this binder is really cool. You can slip um, a piece of paper inside the front of it and you can decorate it how you want. My other binder doesn't have the little plastic in the front, but so this one's for chemistry. So I decorated it with some pretty markers and inside you just open it up and it's got everything that you have for that class, whatever you would possibly need for that class, I guess. And I have a lot of stuff because it's all online, so everything has to be printed off. And in the back I also have a, another folder that's just kind of clipped in for things that are not three hole punched yet or that I'm not going to three hole punch for whatever reason. It fits really really nicely in there. So there's my chemistry and then I don't have one made yet for that class but I'm going to show you the one for my other class. This is another way I organize. This is my nutrition class and the way I break it down is into weeks and nothing was due until week three. The first two weeks were just kind of like getting to know the class, um, getting your books and loading one of the CDs that you, we use for the class in and there was a few like small assignments like introductory using the discussion board online and stuff like that but I broke it down what's going to be due, the discussions, the activities, the literature critiques and the quizzes and then if there's nothing due that week in that category I just X'd it off and this way I can check it off as I go and this is week three I'm on right now so I should be doing these this week <laughs> and as I go I can check them off and I do have a project this week, so I wrote that in the extra space. And you don't have to be good at tables or graphs or whatever these would be considered to make something like this. You just, I didn't even have a ruler to do this. I used something with a straight edge and just drew lines. So there's another way to keep yourself organized. So there are three areas 
that I have that tell me when something's due. So those are the ways that I stay organized as far as my assignments in my papers for my classes. And that's really all I do for my papers. I keep everything together in that binder that belongs to that class. I don't have any areas on my desk where I keep like my homework folders or um, like an in and out area where I put the papers because then it just gets out of where it belongs. All I have are the binders for that class and the paper that has to do with that class should never leave that binder unless I'm working on it and it needs to go back in there. That way I don't leave it at home on my desk. It goes right back into that binder. Um, that doesn't really pertain to me because I am online, but that's going back to when I was in college and when I was in high school. I did the same thing. I've been using this process for years, so it's worked really well for me in the past. So now I'm going to stop the camera real quick and get focused, and I'm going to show you just my desk area and how I organize a little bit. It's nothing too extravagant, but just if you're interested in seeing where I work my office area, just keep on watching. Thank you. So when you walk into my room, this is what you see against the wall. Um, this is my desk. This is my printer. Um, I hook it up with this cord to my laptop. It just hooks right up and automatically prints anything that it would possibly need. And this just is a filing cabinet that we keep files in. I'll just show you really quickly what I'm talking about. Bunch of files and it's all organized. So that's what's over there. I don't really like the filing cabinet. I'm not going to lie. It doesn't go with the the room, but it's what we have and I haven't really gotten anything else. So maybe one day. And this is my desk. I got it from Ikea and I think I got it last year when we moved in Yeah, to my apartment. So it's been exactly a year since we got this desk and the chair is just from Walmart. Just a very simple office chair. And... On my desk I have my lamp and I have this. I don't have anything on it right now, this little board, but I have some little pins in case I want to. I just haven't really needed to put anything on it recently, so right now it's completely cleared. So my lamp, lots of highlighters. I have a lot of highlighters, I understand. But I used to have a job that required you had one every day, so I just ended up with a lot of highlighters, but I love them anyway. I have a candle that I burn when I'm sitting in here for a while. Lotion. Um, I don't know if that's Victoria's Secret Lotion. I have this really cute notepad that has an F. That's my initial. And then I can just like write things if I need to take any notes just randomly. I can. Um, over in this corner I have another little... I got these little boxes from Ikea. They were really cheap, like $2. And in here I just keep pencils, pens, scissors, random extra markers, that sort of thing. And then on my desk I have my binders and my... Uh, planner and then I right here is where I put my laptop when I am working on it I'll bring it in here to work on it and then it has the three well two drawers and a cupboard I really down here I really do not use this it has a few boxes of random things and just a pile of some folders and stuff but I really don't even ever go in there and I don't need to I, I just don't need that extra space I guess and in this drawer is where I keep all my supplies I'll just show you like an overview. Markers, in case you need to color. I color a lot of things actually. Um, my calculator, my stapler, my staple remover, uh, my three hole punch, some nails because I'm constantly hanging things up around the house. Uh, white out, this is a cell phone cover. Sticky notes, oh my goodness you can never have too many sticky notes. I have a ton of sticky notes to remind yourself of things. And these are just little adhesive squares because I scrapbook a lot too when I'm not doing homework. That's a hobby of mine. Tape. This is a little, just a notepad um, and that's just some scrapbooking ribbon. And then over in this drawer, um, this one's actually pretty organized. I have crayons. Um, uh, that's just kind of like a ruler. I don't know. I haven't used that in years. Like forever. I think I used it in geometry and I don't know why I still have it, but it hasn't broken yet. So, a wireless mouse, which I never use, but I just keep it because it works perfectly fine. Stamps, index cards. What is that? Oh, a Hobby Lobby gift card that I got for Christmas that I haven't used. And in here, this little clear container, I just keep extra staples, which I got these really pretty colorful staples. Why is my camera not focusing? There we go. These really pretty colorful staples, and then I keep 
um, paper clips in there too. And then some more index cards and more push pins for my board up there. So that's my desk. It's pretty much everything I would need. And then I'll just really quickly show you over here my garbage can. I have this old CD rack that I'm probably going to get rid of because I obviously don't really have any CDs that I put in there and there's no reason for it. And then this is just my scrapbook paper organizer. I love this scrapbook. Um, and in all those drawers I just keep my scrapbook paper and then on the top I have a bunch of pads of scrapbook paper and then the most recent Allure magazine. Is this the most recent? Yes, this is. Uh, September. Yep, I haven't even read it yet, but I plan to soon. And then this is my bookshelf thing. It's pretty organized, I guess you could say. Um, books, little Victoria's Secret bag, candle. And I got these white, like, they're uh, cardboard boxes, but they're a little bit fancy, from Ikea. And I got the bookshelf from Ikea. I get all my furniture from Ikea. And these are really nice. All these, like, magazines that I have. And let's see what's down here. Some extra office paper. Some extra birch boxes. Um, my scrapbooks that I keep that I've been working on. All my scrapbooks are down there. And another box down there. So that is really... Oh, there's my calendar. I almost forgot. Look at that. Isn't he just the cutest thing? My husband got me this for Christmas last year. And this is my calendar. So this is another way that I tell when things are due. Like, for example... Oh, it's not going to zoom in. Chemistry. Chapter 1 homework is due on Saturday the 10th. So, uh, that's another way that I can tell when things are due. And I have these really cute stickers that tell me, like, for example, my birthday is next Tuesday. So I have this really cute sticker with balloons. So that is my office, everybody, and that's how I organize. It's nothing too extravagant, but it works for me, and it helps me stay organized. So I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.